Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to show an advanced pattern of using the room swapping pattern. So before I explain how this works, I want to show what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and jump immediately into play. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to interact with this sprite. And now that I've interacted with the sprite, it has completely disappeared from the room or at least it's disappeared from the room from the perspective of the player. And this is where the room swapping pattern comes into play. You may have noticed that since we're playing in the editor, we noticed that something happened. There was a flash over here because it ran through an interaction. And we also changed the room to example room copy one. So let me show exactly what happened here. We started over here in example room. We, then we interacted with the sprite down here, the cat, which was over here. This immediately did exit, move the player to example room copy one in the exact position right here, 812 of the cat. Right here, cat 812. So what did I just do? Well, I basically made a sprite into an item. Remember, when we interact with items, we use them up and they become part of an inventory and their corresponding number gets increased. For sprites, they stick around. That is, they stick around in the same room. So one of the things we can do is do a room swapping pattern such that we change to another room that doesn't contain that corresponding sprite as long as that same room, the one we're moving to, is a copy of the previous room minus one thing. So we set everything up in a room we want, then we duplicate it, which is what I did, created example room copy one, and then removed that single sprite, and I didn't have anything else to copy within that. So using the room swapping pattern, we can pull sprites out of a room by switching to a room that doesn't contain them, that is a copy of the previous room. And this can be incredibly powerful as we think about ways in which we might want to remove sprites or add sprites to rooms. So another way we could have done this, alternatively, is when we interact down here, if I move over here, and I've got sprites right here, and I'm going to drop in a cat up here. So let's see the same thing from a different perspective. So if I start over here in example room, notice there is no cat here, right? So let's go ahead and stop. Flip over here. Put the cat back in 812. And then over here, I want to uh, put in my cat here. Uh, but notice we don't have the same thing. Oh, but that's not actually that much of a problem because what we can do is just duplicate it. And now we have a duplicate we're going to put over here. So now that we are interacting with this cat, notice we have what appears to be the same sprite in the same room, but now moved to another place. But that's not actually what happened. I duplicated a sprite and put in a new sprite in a whole nother room, but I swapped rooms such that the sprite now moved locations. So one of the things we can do, as demonstrated in this video, is again, if we want a sprite to disappear, we make a copy of that room, and then as part of an inter interaction, use, as, use exit, move the player to the location of that previous sprite. And we can also add sprites to rooms through interactions by creating a copy of that room and adding a copy of that sprite in the new room. In both cases, we're swapping rooms to create a visual effect. We're either removing a sprite or adding a sprite as if they were items. And this can be incredibly powerful. We want to achieve different effects within Bitsy 8. As we've seen, again, removing sprites, adding sprites, or adding items potentially in a new room, creating those duplicates of items, sprites, or tiles as well, and creating new rooms that contain all of those things as duplicates of those and swapping between them. An incredibly powerful pattern and much more advanced pattern requiring a little bit of setup and a little bit of work to creating duplicates of things we need, but allowing us to create that visual effect, allowing sprites to work with items by swapping the rooms between duplicates of the same room. Very, very powerful as we think about advanced patterns within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.